Did you get a sense, you know, in, in that freshman year of his, and then when he was playing receiver, of the type of player he yeah. ultimately would be? No, I, I, to be honest with you, I didn't. Like even last year, you know, he said he was a quarterback and making all his plays even before a game. Uh, you know, didn't expect that at all. Uh, he definitely has turned it around. A heck of a player now, for sure. What are the challenges when you have somebody like that who, you know, is, is equally yeah. uh, a threat with his arm? His yeah, I, I mean, you know, you. You know, you blitz five or six, you know, he's going to pick you off. If you drop eight, you know, he, there's going to be no pass rush really, and, uh, you know, he's going to be able to get the chance to get out of the pocket and run a little bit. So it's just, I mean, it all comes down to, you know, like I said, discipline and running to the football and playing hard. Because, um, you know, he is going to get out. You know, he's going to tuck it and run a little bit. And, um, obviously, he's dangerous with his legs. So, I mean, it's just just playing hard, man. That's, that's what it comes down to. You guys done in this, you know, extra time to prepare for them and, and coming off of the three straight losses. I mean, look in the mirror. What, what's it been like to, to try to you know, refocus and, and go forward with the second half of the season? I mean, for me personally, it's those three losses. I don't even think about them. You know, if they were three wins, I would think about them. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just about the next game, the next play, the next practice. Um, so for me, you know, you ha do you have that in the back of your mind that, you know, we need to win some? And, um, and stuff like that, yeah. But you know, for me, like I said, it's just it's just moving on. Man. You can't dwell on what happened, whether it was good or bad um, in the past. You just got to focus on TCU and you know, take it one day at a time. Do you feel like the focus and the confidence level for this team is still pretty good? Yeah, I think so. You know, I was worried about that. You know, three straight losses. Um, you know, the what the uh, mental maturity of the guys. And, you know, I think we've handled it pretty well. You know, we understand that. Uh, it's a tough conference. It was a tough October for us, but uh, you know we can win the rest of these games for sure. Um, and shoot eight, nine, and three, eight and whatever three seasons. It's not too bad uh, going to a good bowl game. So I think we're we're definitely still striving um, to win. You know we haven't given up yet. We're definitely uh, definitely still working. So yeah, I think we've done a good job. You, uh, you saw David Sills when he was the scout team wide receiver, yeah. the scout team yeah. quarterback. What did you see in him then that you, you felt could translate into you know what we saw a glimpse of that? Page? Oh yeah, I mean he was making catches on all of us, and uh, uh, I mean he did a great job down for us down there and uh, give us good looks. Uh, and all of us were even talking about you know when he needs to move to wide receiver. You know he's obviously a heck of a player, so it didn't surprise me at all when you know he came in the game and made made a few good you know plays for us. So. I think he's you know, he's taken his role. Um, obviously, probably wanted to be a quarterback, came in as a quarterback, but he's taken his role. He understands how he's going to help the team. And he's, he's done a great job.